Yeah. And uh, it, I don't know. It's just like uh, I've actually got a video planned pretty soon. You'd probably like this concept. Um, it's uh, I forget what the title that I had kind of workshopped for it was, but the basic premise is going to be uh, running really old games that I played when I was younger or that other writers played when they were younger and then never went back and revisited on modern hardware, absolutely cranked balls to the wall. So, you know, uh, actually, you know, like it'd massive be, upscaling and stuff. It would be great to have you come on as a guest and play cool. like Morrowind with like a crazy oh texture goodness. pack and like running at 8K super sampled down to down to 4k and like i would love to there's there's quite a bit you can do with with morrowind it's still everything it still looks terrible but well, I, <laughs> right it, it's going to but, but yeah i'm definitely that'd be awesome i think the one that i'm gonna do is not actually that old of a game so it you know is maybe not quite the point of the uh, that i'm trying to get across but the one that i really want to do is far cry because that was a game okay. that I played before I could afford top tier hardware. I played that on a 9600 Pro All in Wonder graphics card, which is a good mid solid mid range. You know, <laughs> remember when mid range graphics cards cost 200 bucks Canadian? Uh, <laughs> that was a good solid mid range graphics card at the time, but you could not crank that game. And I want to see what it looks like at like 8K or whatever. Remember when, I mean, nowadays it's like this whole controversial thing where like, oh, Steam should return people's games if it can't run on their systems and all this kind of stuff. Remember when back in the day it was like aggressively on you to like oh, yeah. read the specs on the back of the box? Once you open that like, seal sure on the game works. box, like it was so easy to rip games by just, uh, you know, yeah. burning the CD and then writing down the product key and then like, returning it that stores were real we yeah. okay cagey about that. <laughs> so you had, and like it actually mattered. You had to be, you had to really make sure your computer could actually run it based on the specs on the back of the box. Okay. I haven't even like, I swear, about that. I swear we're going to get to our topics at some point, guys, but this is a great <laughs> discussion and I love it. Tell me a game that you got <laughs> over on by buying Ooh. it without having the right specs to run it and you just like never got to play it. I actually don't think that ever happened. Really? Well, how it's, nice for I, you, you jerk. Because, well, my dad was always super concerned about that. Oh, okay. All right. So all right. He, he all right. got my brother and I on the like, you have to read the specs on the back because he was into computer hardware right. back then. My family so he, wasn't. he was very, very much like, you have to read the specs on the back of the box. You have to make sure it's going to be able to run because you don't want to like buy this relatively expensive thing. Yeah. And then just come home and be like, Duh, it's worthless. Um, so th there was a number of times where like there'd be a game we really wanted and yeah. my dad would bring us to the store to go get it and we'd figure out that it wouldn't work and then we'd have to like go do odd jobs, paper routes, whatever, until we could afford the, the component that we had to buy to upgrade the computer to buy the game, blah, 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 blah. How about this? Tell me that a game that once. you upgraded for. I... <sighs> Man, I gotta start remember. writing these down because I can actually think of so many. I had like... I Just, think Warcraft 3. I had some pretty ratchet computers when I was a kid. I think we needed more RAM for Warcraft 3. And there was there was a game that we needed a graphics card for. Because I remember because we bought the graphics card from Future Shop. Yeah. I remember that just felt like the most insane thing. Like I felt so cool just strolling in and buying this like probably low to mid tier graphics card. I know, but right? But it just felt awesome. And I remember like the... the I wish they still did this, but we're clearly in a different era. But like the art that was on the box for the graphics card was so epic. Oh, yeah. I just, yeah. Well, you know. were that in the awesome. era where it was probably like anime chicks and stuff like that. Right. And like these like 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 crazy dudes with like, you know, 4000 pounds of stuff. armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was legit. Oh, um, man. I don't remember what game that was for, though, but I'm, I'm rather certain we had to upgrade our RAM for Warcraft 3. Okay, so my, my buddy had the enough RAM to play it, and I was like, oh, I need more RAM. All right, so I'm going to start with, um, man, I, I don't remember exactly which one it was. So I'm going to start with a game that I legitimately never got to play. I bought it at London Drugs, oh, wow. and I was super excited to play it. It was, um, it was a Crusader game. It was called Crusader No Regret or Crusader No Remorse. I can't remember which one's the first one and which one's the second one, but it was the sequel one. And it required some kind of something. And uh, I wasn't very techie. I was a kid, like I was a little kid. And no one in my family was techie. And even when we upgraded the computer later, 
I legitimately never got it working because it was like a DOS mode game or something and you had to do some stuff in the DOS prompt in order to actually like launch it or I, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I looked at the back of the box and I was like, this looks like the coolest game and I never ever got to play it. It's actually on GOG, so it's a bit of a lie. I, cool. I, I fired it up when um, Alex did that uh, build that we did a while ago where we loaded it with like the oh, top, yeah. top thousand games on GOG or something like that. So I actually played it for about four minutes. It's not very good. Uh, uh, it doesn't care. I mean, <laughs> by modern standards. Um, I mean, that makes sense. But it was it was like so, it was, it's one of those things that I remember, you know, 25 years later as an adult, being just like devastated I didn't get to play this game, right? Um, as for games that we upgraded for, you know what? I love that you mentioned Warcraft 3. I upgraded for Warcraft 3 too. That was the first game that I played when I built my first gaming rig with GeForce onboard graphics. So I'm looking at this. I think I'm trying to find the requirements, but I'm having a hard time doing it. But I think the game that we have had to upgrade the graphics card for was Command & Conquer Red Alert, like the mm. original one, Red Alert 1. Nice. I think that was it. You know what it probably was? You probably had to upgrade for the full motion uh, cutscenes. I think that's, and that that's what actually got me there. Yeah. was because they had those like movie-like cutscenes. Yep. I bet I that was that why, because I know that, uh, I know that um, a lot of people were upgrading around that time to faster CD-ROM drives because they weren't fast enough to stream. So we had to move, we had to upgrade our system to run Mixed Up Mother Goose of all things when we were kids. Um, that was one that we did get to play ultimately. And then there's a couple other ones that I upgraded from, that I upgraded for. Uh, TIE Fighter was one that I upgraded for, uh, for my birthday one year. This is like one of my most memorable birthday presents as a kid. My aunt got me an upgrade to a Pentium processor and uh, a Top Gun joystick that, you know, oh, what's, this yeah. is so funny. Um, hold on. Uh, I still own it. Um, and I was, I've been cleaning up cause I'm clearing out my attic to, uh, re-insulate it, uh, for the air conditioner project. And here it is my Thrustmaster Top Gun, uh, game port joystick. You can still Your get adapters focus. for these. Oh. They still work. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Straight up. Uh, and actually like the feel of it, like listen to it move, you know? It sounds like you're squishing leather around when you move it. Right? And even That's compared, cool. like, like, I remember shopping for a joystick a while back because uh, what happened with this was uh, when I moved in with my mom, I left almost everything that I owned with my dad. Um, and I didn't get that stuff back for many, many years. And so I remember shopping for a joystick all this time later. And by then, everything had turned into totally cheap plastic garbage. And even the ones that had like force feedback, like I would look at them in the store and I couldn't even justify spending my allowance on it. I was like, this feels horrible. I don't even want this compared to compared to my old Top Gun, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, it sounds so good, you know? That's uh, awesome. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta play. I gotta go back and play that game again. I think there's like some mods and stuff for some of the old Star Wars um, space space sim games that make them look pretty outstanding. Oh my goodness. I think I figured out the graphics card that I upgraded for Red Alert. Really? I think it was an ATI Rage 128 Ultra. Wow. That is, wow. That is I'm going pretty way sure, back, sir. I'm pretty going sure that's back. accurate. I was I like, look, I was looking around at different websites and it showed up under recommended specs. And that's like absolutely something we would have done. That and I definitely pricey. remember that it was ATI. You guys was... got cool, cool stuff when uh, you were a kid. I had to upgrade my graphics card for Civilization II Test of Time. Um, so in Test of Time, compared to the regular Civ II, they added these 3D modeled uh, characters for the the ambassadors or the, the other world leaders or whatever. I think that was the main difference. And then there might have been like some in-game cinematic differences or something like that and like a higher resolution soundtrack. Or, like it was kind of like a, it was the same basic game, but like... HD, well, not HD, but but better, you know, <laughs> kind of like yeah. like now you'll have like a oh now in HD, um, remastered, <laughs> um, and I ended up it was a bargain bites was what the store in Mission it was just a little hole in the wall computer shop. Yeah. Gino from Bargain Bites, uh, <laughs> he helped me install like the most basic possible. I th see the thing is, 
I went in thinking I was some kind of a baller getting like a graphics card. It's a card just for like games. That's nuts, right? Uh, so I thought I was like <laughs> doing a big upgrade to my computer or whatever. And he's just looking at this going like, okay, so you, you really do, you know, this is the minimum spec, right? Like, <laughs> so the game called for, uh, you know what? I bet I can probably look at, I bet I can look at uh, Civ 2 test of time minimum uh, specs. Here we go. Because it would, it was whatever the minimum specs was. Thank you, CNET, for having existed forever. Appreciate <laughs> you, fam. Uh, minimum, two megabytes of VRAM is the minimum. Uh, so I had to get something that just had video memory at all. Apparently, <laughs> it was like sixty bucks or something. It was like one of those graphics cards that doesn't even have like a cooler over it, like just a little little fan, right? Oh man, yikes! That's, that's yeah, yikes, yikes indeed. <laughs> uh, I might have also had to upgrade to a four X CD ROM at that time. Can't remember exactly what the what the timeline was there. Amazing. Apparently, you can still buy this game for twenty dollars on Amazon. We should. Uh, we should. No. Yes. You don't have to. You can. Yeah. All right. Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. We should probably roll intro. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, let's let's do the WAN show.